Alrighty guys, good morning. So we're back at the lake. Again, it's another solo trip. Um, came, I was gonna come on with my buddy Leo, but he had to uh, he had to work on his car this morning to get it fixed. And I had, either way, I had to come work on my boat. So, got some good news. Stay tuned and I'll give you a quick update of what's going on with the boat. But so far it looks good. So be right back. All right guys, so good morning and uh, welcome back. So if you've been watching my last couple of videos, you know I've been having some, uh, some engine issues and to kind of talk about what was happening. So hopefully y'all can troubleshoot it faster than what I did. But still, I had to get some stuff done to it anyways. But basically what was happening with the engine was anytime I was getting up to about 3,000 RPMs, you would just see the needle just drop. And, and you can feel you can feel the engine. It felt like maybe it was starving for fuel. Maybe there was air. Uh, but it kept like, you know, like budging or nudging. And it would just never get over 3,000 RPMs, especially if I had people on the boat. And if it was just me, uh on the boat i was able to get up to 4,000, but then same thing like it would just keep dropping the rpms over and over again so uh tried troubleshooting a couple things and god i hope i don't get a snag don't give me a snag come on get off all y'all get off thank you and uh so we started troubleshooting a couple things uh one thing you can use is if your carbs if you think they're getting dirty uh the biggest thing they tell you to use if you can is to use non-ethanol fuel that's like the best thing um uh, i don't get that one but i at least get the uh the supreme so that i get the highest grade fuel so that i don't get a lot of you know build up in my engine and i've been basically using that since i got this engine uh, and also you can use something called sea foam and sea foam helps break up a lot of that build up in your engine and i have been putting that like every two or every three fill up so I didn't really think that was an issue, but I, I started there first. Um, didn't really do a whole lot for the engine. It, it started to work a little bit better, but still the overall issue was there. Then I went to, uh, and I don't know what I'm crossing, but I, I, I don't want to get a snack here. But anyways, I ended up switching uh, or checking some other things. Uh, we checked the fuel filter. The fuel filter was clean, it was pristine, so that was an easy fix, uh, something that I can do. If I could do that, you guys can do that. Uh, the next thing we checked, we checked the primer bulb. And the primer bulb, we were priming it, me and my buddy David, and it, was, it just stayed flat. And I know it's not supposed to get rock hard, but it's supposed to get a little firm at least. And that thing just, it just stayed flat the whole time. So we put a brand new primer bulb, and after I did that, the engine started working a lot better but the issue was still there. It just wasn't as bad. So slowly we're troubleshooting the issues. Next thing we thought, spark plugs. Spark plugs, I think are like 15 bucks, not very expensive. Uh, this Suzuki, it's a, it's a DF140, I believe. Uh, takes four spark plugs, same thing, real easy to access. So something I can do, something you guys can do very easily. So I got the spark plugs, came out this morning, got to my boat storage. I think the entire swap to take them out and put the new ones in probably took less than 10 minutes. Uh, and I tell you what, problem solved. Game out here. I mean, as soon as I started it, I already knew I wasn't feeling the same. Like the engine was kind of like struggling a, a little bit, even at the dock. And especially once I started leaving the uh, the boat ramp area, there was there was no shaking whatsoever. And I full throttled and I got well above 5,500 RPMs and never bogged down. And that thing was just flying. So spark plugs were the issue. And let me show you what they look like. So I'm gonna show you the, the third. So let me show you the first one. So the one closest to the top. And I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this, but where's my thing? Pick back up. So this was the spark plug that was on the, I guess the top, top combustion. I don't know what you want to call it, but there's, there's four spark plugs. This guy was at the top, pretty clean. You can see the white, still pretty white. I mean, it's a little brown, but that, I don't think that's a, a big issue. 
So that was the first one. The second spark plug looked almost similar, but then when I got to the third spark plug, check that guy out. Look at the noticeable difference in the two, if you can see it. And maybe if I put in the light, maybe y'all can see it better. But there's a drastic difference in the two of them. So I'm pretty sure this was my issue. Now, I don't know what causes that. It looks, honestly, it looks like the gap is a little bit smaller on this one, but it, I mean, without a, without a gap tool, it's gonna be kind of hard to tell. But uh, these were new spark plugs that were put in, but this one's already all, it's all charred. The white uh, knot on the inside, I mean, it's all dark brown. I mean, this whole thing is shot. So that, that was my issue, guys. And then the spark plug on the on the on the very bottom it also was pretty bad but clearly so yeah your top this was the very bottom this was third third from the bottom so this one again not as clean as this guy but this guy is just completely shredded so that was my problem guys bad spark plugs so i'm gonna take this to to my guy the mechanic and just kind of ask him like what what's causing that um he had told me when i did my last tune-up that there was low compression uh in one of my carbs so maybe that does it i don't know i'm not i'm not a mechanic but at least i was able to troubleshoot it and at least i was able to save myself uh, well over 400 bucks if I take it to the mechanic because they charge you per hour and I think it's 199 per hour and they charge you a two hour minimum and they probably would have found that in 10 minutes and again it took me less than 10 minutes to swap the part out but I would have been charged for two hours of labor and it would have had to have sat there for probably about you know a week and a half and the guys master marine they usually get me in and out pretty quick but that's not the case for everybody uh, you know I have bought my last two boats from them so maybe they push me a little bit ahead maybe i don't know but even at that for it to just sit there for a week and a half um I, i'm glad that i was able to save money on my end and also that i'm able to kind of troubleshoot and learn some of these issues so there you go bad spark plug so if your boat is having uh, issues with rpms with, with dropping um like i said when we checked the primer bulb that helped it quite a bit but not fully and then definitely when we change, change the spark plugs and you can clearly tell the spark plugs bad once we did that, boom, it was done. So, yeah, let's get back to fishing. I'm kind of glad now. Don't have that problem to worry about. So, yeah, stay tuned. We'll see if we catch anything. Alrighty, guys. So, like I said, it's going to be a short trip. And uh, I'm going to have two videos. One just where I'm just talking about, you know, the, the issue with the engine and what I hopefully finally did it to fix it uh i ran the engine man i went all the way across the lake and man i had no issues whatsoever so i really do hope that was uh my last problem to solve but uh yeah so we also uh well, not we i decided to do a quick drift like i said about 10 minutes into my drift got a nice double 13 pounder 13 and a half and 11 pounder so that's gonna be dinner so as always guys uh, enjoy the video appreciate you all watching uh forgot the name of the guy that saw me at total wine yesterday that recognized me uh when i had to check your id uh thanks for uh giving me a shout out at the store appreciate that but as always guys uh y'all have a good day thanks thanks for watching